The broad range of politicians, city councillors and passionate community activists that have gathered here from all around the state for this rally against the forced amalgamations of local councils would suggest that this could become a major issue in the next state election. My name is Grant Lee Ingram. I'm the president of Save Bombala Inc. and also the coordinator of the Demerge New South Wales Alliance, DNA. I'm from Bombala, where once we had our own council with $10 million cash in the bank, no debt, and a community that knew where they belonged. Since I last spoke to you, the Snowy Monero Regional Council are preparing to introduce an increase in rates of over 105%. I'll say that again. My Merge Council are proposing to more than double our rates, and we simply cannot afford to pay that. And I don't need to tell you how bad many Merge Councils are. I do need to tell you this. There is light at the end of the tunnel. Since we launched the Demerge New South Wales Alliance, DNA for short, in November last year, we have seen a two-thirds majority vote in the Inner West Council to demerge. <laughs> Hold the applause for the next one. We have seen Canterbury Bankstown Council, ladies and gentlemen, the largest council in this state, prepare last week a motion to build a business case for demerging. And we also have the New South Wales Boundary Commission finally seeing sense and recommending the demerger of Cootamundra and Gundagai. Go, go, Cootagunda! <laughs> DNA have made a number of submissions on other demerger proposals across many force councils. I say this today, ladies and gentlemen, I say this to those in the house behind us. I say, do not think this will go away. Do not take your local communities for granted. We will fight this to the March state election. Don't worry about that. Ignore us at your peril. We have our state labor conference in October where I'm looking to have our sustained position that we will not, a labor government will not forcibly merge or forcibly demerge any council in New South Wales. We will allow referendums so that communities can have their say. And if, and if those communities decide through referendum to demerge or merge, so be it. The people don't deserve this. So all I'm saying to this government, for God's sake, get off your bums and do something and help us. You've made a mess of this, admit you've made a, made a mess of it, and let us get back to where we were. Thank you. Hey, uh, my name's Pip Hinman. I'm here representing the residents for de-amalgamation in the Inner West Council. Um, I first want to acknowledge that we are uh, having this um, rally today on Gadigal land, land that was never ceded. Um, I'm going to be introducing Kobe Shetty, who's standing in for Jamie Parker, who unfortunately is isolating because of COVID, and we do wish him well, hope he recovers quickly. Kobe represents the Baladari Ward, which is the old Balmain Ward, and uh, in the Inner West Council that has a rich working class history. Um, and she knows that uh, resident involvement in, in local government has had a hugely beneficial impact, uh, both in that area, but of course across the board. Balmain, of course, is in the old Leichhardt Council area, uh, where a bold experiment in direct democracy was had, and to great effect. Forced amalgamations have unfortunately smashed that whole idea, replacing it with a managerialism that's not only alienating, it does not work. We all know the reasons that smaller councils are better and that's why we're standing here today. Those councils that fought the state government back in 2016 managed to keep their local councils and we were let down by the Labor mayors of Ashfield, Marrickville and Leichhardt who did not do enough to stop it. We are again being let down by a Labor majority who thinks they know better than the people they represent and our residents deserve better. My slogan was fix the funding first <laughs> and basically that's what it's about. We've lost all our funding. That started way back bloody 15 and 20 years ago from Commonwealth governments uh, withdrawing their funding for roads and situations at local government level. Um, it's obvious that this state are trying to squeeze down local government into non-existence and uh, have mega councils or whatever they want. Why don't they just say that? We just heard the Shadow Minister say that they will listen to our voices when in government. 
Well, in the inner west, our voice has spoken. 63% of voters in the inner west called for demerger after an experience of an extended first term of an amalgamated council. So we are preparing a business case, which to a large extent though, the community has been excluded from. Greens and independent councillors have been calling for an open and transparent process, which properly engage with the community with enough time for the complexities of the issues to be grappled with. I look forward to the day that the masterminds behind this disastrous merger fiasco can be held accountable either in an upper house inquiry or a royal commission. And after the next election, if this mob aren't there and the way they're going at the moment, and I'm doing my best to make sure that they're not there, we need to make sure that the next government that comes in does the right thing by councils all over the state where the communities want to demerge. And if they are genuinely going to offer money for the demerger process, they, may, they need to make sure that it actually happens. And we're there to make sure that it happens. This is an absolutely critical issue. I mean, this took away democracy, basically. When I was at school, democracy was government of the people, by the people, for the people. And this took away the by the people. It shrunk local participation. And, you know, with the ideology of government being a form of business, the argument was this would be for the people. It'd be in everyone's interests. And what ended up happening? Well, it was an economic mess. In my region, my region, the merged councils are raising their rates. They're struggling. And the councils that didn't merge are doing fine. So this is going to be an election issue. We all united. I'm, all, I'm with Sa I'll declare an interest. I'm a former Pittwater councillor. I'm with Save Our Councils. I'm with Demerge New South Wales Alliance. I'm on the local residents association. And we have had enough of being ignored, not listened to. The state government's going to pay. I, I won't go on and on because I just want to make three points. Demerge Cootamundra Gundagai, yeah. have a binding referendum, yeah. and the referendum must be on the former council boundaries. Yeah. 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 Thank you, and that's for everyone in New South Wales. As far as Sumbarumba is concerned, they have a chance, a last ditch chance of credibility. They can finally follow the recommendations of the Boundary Commission, or they go. I was the last mayor of the former Young Shire Council and first mayor of the Amalgamated Hilltops Council. And I supported it along the way because I'd been had commitments made to me by the state government, Mike Baird at the time, and their officers, who predicted and sent their lobbyists around and told us of all the benefits that would be achieved by merging, none of which has happened. The complete opposite. Our finances are shot to pieces. Our staff morale is shot to pieces. Our community are resentful. The animosity is growing and getting worse. We call for demerge now. It is forced demargimation. It is forced. It's against democracy, against our people, against our community. We call the both government, the Liberal government and the Labour future government to support to support this cause. Momentum is building across the state to turn this thing around, right? It's now known, it's more than money, ladies and gentlemen. People are suffering, people are hurting, right? We will take this to this place over the road here behind me. We will take it to March. Rob said it, when you put your dot on the ballot paper, tell them what you think about it.